Hello everybody and welcome to this bonus lesson in Diploma in Photography here with Shaw Academy. You are here with myself, William Eames, as always your educator on the Diploma in Photography course. And in this short little lesson we are going to be expanding on our compositional lesson. And we're going to have five more tips and tricks for you to try out after doing that composition lesson. And you can combine these with some of the, the tips and the tricks and some of the information information that we learned in that composition lesson so the things like the rule of thirds balance simplicity and so on you know have those in mind when you're looking at these things to look out for so the first thing to have a look at is lines and you may have heard of this before leading lines in your photographs and lines so lines is exactly what it sounds using natural lines to lead eyes into the picture or indeed it could just be something like this with a little bit of repetition into it as well lines help the viewer through the image and focus attention on important elements or they can be abstract they could be a little bit of fun you know like this image here of these pencils nice little bit of color but nice shapes going on there as well or you could have something like this a little bit more straightforward where our eye is being led through the photograph it's being brought through the photograph by those lines coming in from the top left coming down through the bottom right so our lines help us to bring us through the image Another thing to have a look out for and a really good thing to, to help you to develop your eye as a photographer as well. Try and find shapes in the natural environment or in man-made environments like this here. I think it's very obvious that we have a big circle here um, in the photograph, you know, completed with that reflection there in the water. But you can also go for something more straightforward like this hexagonal sign here, this hexagonal stop sign. But think about the colour in this photograph as well. You've got that really nice strong contrast of the red against the blue fairly straightforward but visually appealing photograph and you could go with something like this um, you know you can use your frame within a frame we'll have a look at that in a moment as well but we also have our triangular shape here as well and this just again very visually appealing for your viewers to have a look at now repetition uh, go hand in hand with shapes as well but you can have repetition which is exactly what it sounds it's the repeating of an object or a subject in your photograph repetition is a way to grab the attention of a viewer as patterns are very visually interesting to us and you can think of repetitions in your everyday photography so something like sporting events are you know this kind of fun image here of all these bikers or even something a little bit more straightforward like like these ballerinas these dancers here in this particular photograph and think again about the leading lines in this shot bringing us through the photo and then we've got symmetry so for any of you Stanley Kubrick fans you know if you've ever seen The Shining or any of Stanley Kubrick's movies you'd probably be very familiar with the amount of symmetry that he uses in his movies but he actually did a lot of photography as well but symmetry very very straightforward symmetrical shapes symmetrical photographs are again just very interesting to have a look at they do break the rule of thirds of course as well the symmetry you would want to try Try and either repeat the image on the left on the right or the top or the bottom okay so with some something like this here as well having your subject in the center it breaks the rule of thirds and this is a good example of you know thinking outside of that guideline you know so symmetry something else to have a look out for in your photography as well then we have framing and that's a frame within a frame another effective way of portraying depth in a scene you can often tell two stories in a photograph using a frame in a frame you can very much lead the viewer's attention through the photograph by using a frame within a frame like in this shot here of Audrey Hepburn and indeed um, with this here as well you can use it as a natural vignette in your photograph graphs a nice kind of circular frame within the rectangular frame here as well so think about your shapes of your frames as well and as I said you can tell two stories in a photograph using frames within a frame like this excellent photograph here where we have these gentlemen here in the rear view mirror we have this whole other thing going on here as well a little bit down the road so there's a lot of dynamic there's a juxtaposition between the subjects here in this photograph finally then 
we have entry and exit, entry and exit points. So think about you know uh, coming into a photograph and leaving a photograph. So having a look at this photograph here, the bride ascending the stairs here. So we're starting in the darkness and we are moving out towards the light. So this is an entry point and an exit point in from the dark out into the light. We're following the bride here there's a lot of anticipation in this particular photograph and indeed again with a photograph like this we have an entry point of darkness but this building is our exit point so we're led through the photograph very clearly as we have an entry and an exit and finally you can always have something a little bit like this as well like this meandering river here we are reading the photograph from left to right so think about this think about how you read and how you read a photograph as well and we are very much being brought down the river in this particular photograph so entry and exit points have a look out for them in your own photography as well so thank you very very much for joining me for this a brief lesson on five compositional uh, tips and techniques and i hope that this will help you to see the world in a completely new way thank you very much and i'll see you all back for your next lesson in diploma in photography here with shaw Academy. Bye-bye.